let's do a beer of the week in review. I know you all are getting tired of the WJ videos. I think I've done like six of those in a row on the channel. And Blue Cheese is over here walking around. So if you hear somebody walking around, it's just him. Go lay down somewhere already. Okay. So, we're going to do a beer of the week in review. Um, my Uncle Jim, we've had a past video with him. Uh, you can check back in the beer of the weekend playlist and see that. That's been a little while ago. Uh, he sent me a monetary donation for some craft beers. So, I'm going to show you right here. Look at all those, okay? We're not going to do a beer of the weekend on all of those. We'll do a beer of the weekend on a few of those. Save a few of those for later for some videos. Thank you, Uncle Jim, for that. Really appreciate it. Okay? So what is the one we are going to try today? Okay? This is a local, Memphis local for me. I don't live in Memphis. But that's the closest place where they have. So we are trying the judge by Memphis. Let's see, what's the name of this? Memphis Made Brewing Company. And the flavor is, which I'm sure my Uncle Jim would enjoy. This is right up his alley. This is the kind of beer that we appreciate. This is a chocolate vanilla porter. 6% alcohol, 12 fluid ounces. I am Memphis made. Let me try to get a little, get a little info on this, okay? So on the beer, on the website for Memphis Made Brewing Company, the judge, 6% ABV. Here comes the judge, here comes the judge. Order in the court, cause the judge is in the building. You've been summoned to enjoy a chocolate vanilla porter made with roasted cocoa nibs and Madagascar vanilla. This very judicious offering balances roasted, roasty malty notes with hints of vanilla and cocoa. It has a solid body and holds a great head at 6% ABV. So put on your Sunday best because the judge court is in session and there will be no objections. Okay, I don't know if I've had any beer from this company. Uh, we'll have to go check the shelf in the man cave and check it out next time we head to Earth. All right. Actually, I'm on Earth. I'm looking at the moon, aren't I? <laughs> Never mind. I promise I haven't been drinking already. So, we've got a cup here. My Uncle Jim actually gave me this cup. Let's see if I can read this in this lighting. JT Biting Bidding Brewing Company out of Woolbridge, New Jersey. All right, let's pour us a glass. I am no professional for you professionals out there who may say you're pouring that wrong. It smells good. Right off the bat. Okay, if you gave me this can without a label and did not say it was a beer, looking into the can and just smelling it, I would think it was like a Coke product. I would think it was like a soda or something. Because it's dark, it looks like looking into a can of Coke. And smell wise, Nothing's popping out at me. It's almost got a carbonated flavor, smell-wise. Now when I poured this, there is no head on there. That's very slight. It is dark, 
I don't know how long this has been sitting in the shelf at the local store that I picked this up at. It smells good. Still. This doesn't smell really, really berry, berry, berry-ish. If I put this on the counter, one of my kids could come up here, smell this and see this, and they would think this was Dr. Pepper, probably. All right, let's give it a taste. Hmm. Now obviously to this point this does not still taste like soda. Chocolate Vanilla Porter. Okay, so, thoughts. Chocolate Vanilla Porter. Tastes like, to me, if you took black coffee. Cold black coffee. Good tasting black coffee but it was cool, like an iced coffee. And gave it a hint of beerness, if that makes any sense to you. Now that being said, for all you iced coffee drinkers, black coffee, just by itself, cold, doesn't sound very appeasing, appealing. This, on the other hand, does taste good. But that's just one of the first things that comes to my mind. Okay? Um, very smooth to me. It's easily, I mean, I'm sitting here practically chugging it right now. It's very smooth. Uh, goes down easy not a bit of bitterness to it in my opinion vanilla chocolate vanilla now it did say cocoa bean am I correct in that that's probably where we're getting the coffee from Let's see if I can look that up roasted cocoa Nibs, mm, vanilla and cocoa, maybe not. That's what it makes me think of. Almost like coffee beans. Am I getting the chocolate vanilla? To me, it's ever so slight. Vanilla, I don't know if I'm getting the vanilla super, super strong. More so the chocolate is coming through. If you wanna try a darker beer, dark. If you want to try a darker beer, this would probably be a good start for you. It's pretty smooth. Like I said, not hoppy or bitter at all. Um, this would be a good doorway to your darker beers, to your porters and your stouts. Look-wise and all that, it kind of looks like a Guinness. 
Uh, in my opinion, a Guinness might be a little bit bitier than this. A little more pronounced. Of course, a Guinness is a stout and this is a porter, but... So let's go ahead and give this a rating. Um, it just doesn't scream out at me. That's not a bad thing, okay? I'm going to give this a rating of 8 out of 10. I don't want to go so low as a 7. seven. 7, in my opinion, can be good. Decent beer. You know, I'd drink a 7 again. I'm going to give this a little bit higher. I'm going to give it an 8. It's not an all-time favorite for me, though. It's not, uh, not screaming, I want to go get a whole 6-pack today and uh, have a couple more of these right now. Got to have them. It's not my top 10. I'm not going to give it a top 10, but I will give it a decent rating of 8. So the verdict is in for the judge. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten jurors say this beer is guilty of being good. The other two say not so much. Of course, I just drank this whole thing, so can't be that bad, right? If I do a beer review and I don't drink the whole thing on video, and I only get like this much, you know it's not very good. Thanks for watching. Misbehaving. And Beer of the Weekend. If you're into that sort of thing, check out the Beer of the Weekend playlist. The Judge. Is it out of this world? Yeah, maybe not out of this world. We're still on planet Earth for this one.